our webinar on enterprise product framework, a surefire way to reduce development time, cost, and cost. I am Selena Dukuza, your host for the session. Thanks everyone for taking time off your busy schedules to attend the session. I hope you find it useful. Now, uh, before we get started, I'd like to outline the structure for the webinar. We'll take about 30 to 35 minutes for the actual presentation, and we'll have about 10 minutes for a Q&A session. If you have any questions, please feel free to type them in in the chat window on the right hand corner of your screen. So let's give you a brief intro about who we are. At the Hire Systems is a pioneer in the outsourced product development space. We work with over 80 ISPs and software enabled businesses and help them build better software. We pioneer the concept of product sharing, our unique methodology for building products better and faster. Now one of the key elements of the product sharing, our product sharing approach is Propel, which we'll talk about in more detail during this webinar. Our most recent award is a ranking by Silicon India among the top 10 outsourced product engineering services companies in the U.S. Uh, we've been uh, also awarded uh, the Deloitte Technology Class 500 Award for the last three years, and we've been featured in the Black Book of Outsourcing. We have more than 43 customers and about 475 people on the board. So I'd like to introduce our presenters today. We have Jyoti Rangarajan, a solutions architect from Aspire Systems. Jyoti has more than nine years of software product building experience, and she's architecture solutions for enterprise products and product class applications. Jyoti plays the role of our advanced technology group and has uh, contributed greatly to, uh, to developing the Google Reputation, who is uh, from our customer, Ajuba Solutions. He's the lead of their information system. He has more than 11 years of experience in the IT industry, and he's been involved in architecting business application solutions for over six years. Uh, Google's expertise lies in Microsoft Technologies and the revenue cycle management of the, from in the healthcare, US healthcare industry. So I'd like to just happy uh, to move on to our agenda for today. Jyoti will be covering in the first 20 25 minutes about the need for having an enterprise product framework and give examples of different types of frameworks, what are the benefits and features of different frameworks. Then she'll be uh, getting into uh, talking about Propel, which is Aspire's uh, enterprise product framework, and we'll talk about the functionalities in Propel's building block of the so Then we'll also, then Gokhtu uh, will be covering a brief briefly about how Propel is used to build their application. This will be followed by a uh, question and answer session. So please, uh, once again, I encourage all of you to make this an interactive session and type in your questions in the chat window on the uh, side of the hand of the screen. So, thanks again, everyone, for coming in. Uh, over to you, Jodhra. Hi, Sunny, this is Jyoti. Let's see right away getting to the topic of today, Enterprise Product Framework. Early movers emerge winners. In today's competitive world, getting to market is a very fast advantage for any product. This has been a problem for most of the ISPs. Some of us think that the goal goes to the ISP is product offered to compromise on the quality. What happens though these products hit the market soon, they scale after a very short span of time due to one or more of the following reasons. Products not able to handle volume or load, not able to accommodate or enhance fast. It becomes very difficult to troubleshoot if there are any problems. Above mentioned problems are common among for RPG and products. This is the reason why we see a lot of proportion of price craft out and these all over again. Doing this, ISP spend almost twice the money that they should have. So what can the ISP do to build a quality product? Here I want to clarify the term quality. Having a buckwheat product alone is not quality. It just need a lot of standards such as modifiability, maintainability, performance, scalability, etc., etc., sustain in a long term. So what can they do to build such product? can start by building a strong foundation which meets these quality requirements and then start building the product functionality on top of it. There's a problem with this approach. It really takes very skilled 
have spent quite a huge money and they have already overshot their budget. So here ISVs have a situation. They either have to product quality over time or time over product quality. Is there any choice that is best to bring in both these and make them be? Here is where frameworks come to our rescue. So when you want to develop a product very good quality, get it a faster pace, this will reduce the cost, then framework is scan for free. Let's look at what framework actually means. We need to bear in mind that products are unique, but the quality requirements are almost common across all these products. To put it in simpler words, if I build a component that can ease for uh, maintainability of one product, the same component can be reused for some other product as well with little customization. This is the base for any framework. So I'll give him the definition of what a framework is. A framework is a set of pre of the building blocks. Developers can use extend or customize to the their application. To put it in simpler terms, a framework is a set of pre-built components that does the heavy lifting of taking care of all the cost concerns and allows the developers to concentrate on their business problems or domain-related problems. So this is what a product is. Framework is about. So there are different kinds of frameworks coming day in and day out to solve different kinds of problems. I've listed a few of them. Web application frameworks. These frameworks are built upon building a dynamic websites. Example would graph things, etc. The major pain point addressed by these kinds of frameworks are to bring in a layered design and make the application more maintainable. ORM frameworks. These frameworks support data persistence using objects. Example would be Hibernate, Toplic, etc. The major pain point addressed by these kind of frameworks is to let the developers build uh, products that are database agnostic and use a model driven way for, and, uh, to access the data more easily. Web services framework. These kinds of frameworks support building and deploying web services. Example would be Apache Access and Expire. Rapid application development frameworks. These frameworks support in building application in a visual declarative manner and much faster. Example would be Oracle ADF and NConstruct. Let's get into the benefits of a framework. Consistent, reliable, robust, and model of code. I'm sure you would have all encountered situations wherein the product or business logic is written on the presentation layer, database calls are written on the presentation layer. After some time, it becomes extremely difficult to make any modification to such system. This is why a clear logical separation of the layers are important. Good framework facilitates this and even mandate a clear logical separation of layers such as MVP, MVP, etc. This fixes the product and enables it to have a thorough modularity. Some frameworks even provide plug and play kind of feature evolution. This makes it easy to add more enhancements to the product without much impact to the rest of the system. Improved maintenance. You move the code to the production, one of the customers report an error. Now we have no clue where the problem is and why it has occurred. Just to reproduce that issue, you need to spend nearly half a day. This is where instrumentation is helpful. Frameworks take care of these pros, cross concerns such as instrumentation, exception handling, etc. and helps in easy troubleshooting and auditing and save time. High performance. Performance is very important for a successful product. 
rule level configuration. Security service. This takes care of the data compartmentalization and cryptographic services in a multi-tenant environment. Integration platform. Obviously, an on-demand product needs to coexist and integrate well with other co-applications. And this platform, since ProfilSAS is built on top of Sova architecture, makes the product completely integrated. about the components that exist in Propel. With this, I'll hand over to Selina. Thanks, Jyoti. Uh, now we'll uh, move on to uh, Gokul's part of the presentation, where Gokul is still sharing about his uh, experience using Propel for one of their applications, one of their business applications. So, over to you, uh, Gokul. Uh, Hi everybody, uh, Gokul. I represent Ajiba Solutions India Private Limited. I am just going to give you a brief about Ajiba. Ajiba is a premier provider of revenue cycle outsourcing services to healthcare systems, hospitals, academic medical centers and billing and receivable management companies. Ajiba leverage their deep healthcare domain expertise to meet the challenges that healthcare systems face, whether it is a declining reimbursement, higher ARDs or increased write-off. Software division at Ajiba develops and maintains in-house applications for operations, its AR tracker and other support groups, HR, finance, admin and IT. Ajiba, which has over 1,500 employees globally, is headquartered in North Carolina and has additional operational centers located in Michigan, Illinois and Chennai, India. Now I'm going to give you a brief about the AR Tracker. AR Tracker is a workflow management tool built on Aspire Propel Framework. This is a pilot project that we use using Propel Framework. We have developed a proprietary workflow management tool that helps to segment, allocate and track large volumes of account receivables. Using this tool, our on-site managers can segment an AR portfolio of over a million accounts into numerous work queues using dollar balance, age, provider, payer class and host of other criteria. They can allocate work queues to specialized teams. They can monitor accounts work, resolve current and historical liquidation and host of other criteria. This CR tool has helped us deliver on large complex projects in record time and with significantly higher liquidation percentage. I am going to move into why do we need for a framework. AR and other applications are in older technology and we are in the process of migrating to .NET. Though we allow three-tier architecture, it increased the maintenance over a period of time since our architecture was not well defined. Secondly, there is no proper template exist for exception handling and error messages. Troubleshooting became a big challenge without proper audit logs. With lots of challenge, hours spent on development and maintenance started increasing, thereby delay in the del deliverables. Why we went for Propel framework? Well-structured architecture. It's properly layered with ability to overcome business layer wherever it is not required. It requires very minimum assistance for developers to start using Propel as it was built on .NET framework. It's easy to learn. Master data control. This is one of the attractive features of Propel framework. It has the ability to create master and configuration pages in a very less duration. It minimizes errors as it is a tested in environment. And Propel has strong foundation for exception handling and audit logs. It has the ability to define our handler for each module. It can configure listeners for each handler with wide range of built-in options. And ability to enable audit logs for critical scenarios. 
Other interesting features include error handling, configurable UI and custom column. Now I am going to give you the key benefits of using Propel Framework Master Data Control. This feature added much value to us as it cut down our development time drastically. In our environment, a simple master page creation takes a minimum of 1.5 days to complex being 3 or 4 days with complete testing. This varies depending on the developer experience. With the use of Propel feature, the master data control, we completed 27 master mapping screens in 7 days irrespective of developer experience. The development and testing effort drastically reduced. Then, role and entity permissions. In Propel, permissions are based on the URL. This feature is excellent in terms of security aspects. We spend more time on checking the permissions on every screen. This actually becomes a big challenge when any enhancement is being requested with additional roles and functionalities. Inclusion of one new role in our environment will take a minimum three days for us to do the modification and testing before it is put into production. This has become very handy on using Propel as we just needed to provide permissions in a configuration file. It also also helped us in reducing the development time a lot. This is too good for a tech savvy user. Scalability and customization. Propel is well structured with the ability to customize with a quick turnaround time. The ASP version of AI Tracker has close to 30 implementations and manageability becomes overhead for any changes to be incorporated. In the .NET version of the AI Tracker, we plan to have single code base with multiple database connections. Earlier version of Propel does not support multi-database connection as it reads from the web.config file. We put forth our request to Aspire and we got a quick fix in a week's time by the introduction of multi-instance property. Our challenge got resolved by adding a new connection string to the configuration table for any new implementations. Here comes how flexible this framework driven architecture is when it comes to customization. Error and exception handling. The error message and exception handling got streamlined by using the Propel framework. Thereby the troubleshooting becomes very handy. Overall, by using Propel Framework, Ajiba has a very good architecture some framework for development. The development effort got reduced by one-fifth, and it's easy to maintain on a broad vision. Thank you. I'll move to Selena, please. Uh, thank you, Gopal, for that. Thank you for giving us the uh, insight into how you are using Propel. So now we can uh, move on to the Q&A session. Uh, before that, Josie will just uh, give a brief conclusion and a few benefits of the few in the framework. Can you ask me see, going the framework way helps any product not only have uh, a strong quality base, but also it helps in cutting down the development time and the cost to a large extent. From our experience, we have seen this in action and that's why we advocate framework devel uh, driven development. So, uh, so I, I hope uh, you have got the crux of what it is. Thanks a lot for uh, listening with patience. Thanks everyone. So we'll just move on to the Q&A session. Uh, again, I encourage all participants to type in your questions in the chat window on the right hand uh, of your screen. Uh, we have some questions here already. Let's take the first one. So uh, this is the Jyoti. Uh, if I need my product to be integrated with an IT ecosystem, how do I do that? If, uh, do I have to use Propel and build my product? Or how does it work with an existing product where I want this integration feature to be used? And by the way, my product is built using JBoss and EAB with Hibernate and Thanks for the question. See, as I mentioned, uh, Propel Java itself advocates an architecture that allows you to expose and also consume services very easily. It is a pre-built integrated with a web service framework called Expire. So using this, you will be able to add more services on top of it and thus you will be able to integrate with uh, other uh, co-applications in the ecosystem. Okay, so uh, I have uh, one more question for uh, Jyoti. Uh, some of the challenges that I see in enterprise products are high.
high volume transaction, integration with other systems, and front and front end being discarded systems. So, how does the Propel framework address each of these challenges? Okay. So, Propel does offer a very strong caching block, which you can always use to uh, cut down your processing time. And also, it has uh, many good performance instrumentation components wherein you will be able to log the time that's taken for each process and then uh, log how many transactions have happened, etc. So that your performance modeling becomes better. The second concern is integration with other systems, which I think I have answered uh, as a part of the first question. Uh, yeah, and front end being this way, such systems again, when you go for a service based approach, you can uh, host your front end totally in a separate box and application server in a separate box. So this allows even uh, the application level distribution and increases uh, the scalability. Okay, so we have one more question here. Uh, now, most frameworks require some amount of uh, ramp up time and training. I am sure Propel also does. So how much time does it take? Uh, how much training does it require for, for using Propel? So uh, I would say Propel comes with a very detailed developer guide and just by using that the developers would be able to catch up on it uh, quite easily. Uh, but I would say uh, apart from it, just one week of training is uh, enough to get uh, hands on with Propel. Okay, so just go on to the next question. Uh, is Propel typically used only for new products? Ideally, uh, if you want to use all the components, ideally yes, but there are uh, separate pieces in uh, Propel that can be also integrated well with existing systems. Um, like for example, I can give you an example of uh, master data. So this component can be uh, can be used further on to build admin screen in the existing system. And like that, notification service can be alone used in an existing system to send out notifications. So different components can be used even for the existing system. Okay, thanks Jyoti. Uh, we have one last question. This is for Opal. Uh, how did you choose to win? Or, yeah. Could you please repeat, Selena? How did you choose Propel? Uh, we just went for the uh, features available, and then we had a, a trial version of Propel, and we worked for, say, one week time with that, and find out, like, uh, whether it will be suitable for our environment. And most of the features that are available on Propel was really excellent, and we went for it. Okay, great. Thanks for that, Gopal. Uh, uh, again, I'll just request the audience, if you have any more questions, you can uh, go ahead and ask them now. I think we don't have any further questions. So, uh, if you have any questions, please address them to uh, Jyoti and uh, Gopul. We we'll just uh, show up their email ID here. Yeah. So, thank you one and all for uh, attending the session, and we will send you the recording shortly. Thanks again for joining us. Oh. Thanks. Thanks.